So another common way that we use to estimate annual forage production is called the clip and weigh method. And what I've done is within my key area, I want to use a standard size hoop and clip and weigh all of the this year's vegetation that's inside of it. So what I've got is a hoop. This one happens to be 1.92 square feet, which is just a nice standard number for me to multiply those numbers out and get a per acre, pounds per acre basis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these clippers and I'm going to clip everything that's above the ground down to the ground surface. I'm going to put it in the bag and I'm going to weigh it. Then I'm going to take the hoop within my key area again and throw it anywhere from two to four more times. And I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to end up averaging those numbers. So I'm just going to go ahead and start clipping everything and put it in the bag. So again, I've clipped all species of forage growing within the hoop. It's important to make the distinction between those plants, individual plants that are rooted within the hoop and those that are without. So if there's overlapping leaves from plants that are rooted outside, you don't include those. You include the, only those that are growing or rooted with inside the hoop. So I want to take those and I put them in a paper bag. Use a standard 100 gram scale or something similar. Try and get the weight in grams. And when the wind stops, I'm looking at about 44 grams. I know this bag weighs, you want to subtract for the bag, and I know this bag weighs about 15 grams. So that would give me about 29 grams. Then you dump out the bag and you stay within your key area. You randomly throw the hoop again anywhere from two to four more times and you do the same thing. Then you have to end up taking that number in this size hoop, you want to end up multiplying by 50. That gives you a rough pounds per acre measurement of your uh, forage production within this key area and then you're saying you're, that that's representative of the pasture as a whole. Some adjustments that, that need to be made with that though are how much of the forage growth of this year has already been completed, how much is actually the dry weight of the green weight that I've had, and if it's been grazed, how much of it has actually been grazed. If you need help coming up with any of those numbers, it's best to check with your local uh, SDSU Extension Office or your local Natural Resources Conservation Office for help with that um, adjustments.